Hello, I'm Dr. Monica Singh. I'm a pediatrician and the co-founder of Mother Your Child. Today's video will be about some of the common problems that mothers encounter while breastfeeding their infant. The most common problem encountered by new mothers is engorgement of breast. So what happens in engorgement is that there is accumulation of breast milk or blood in the breast tissue, which causes the breasts to become very full and tender. Now what causes engorgement of breast? Firstly, it's giving prelactal feeds to the baby. Prelactal feed is anything except breast milk that is given to the baby before starting breastfeeding like honey, water, etc. Secondly, it's delay in the initiation of breastfeeds. Breastfeed should be started as soon as possible when the mother starts feeling up to it. If the breastfeeding is delayed beyond that, the mother might have engorged nipples. Thirdly, it's giving bottle feeds to the child. And fourthly, before the breasts are empty, the mother removes the child from the breast. That can also cause engorgement. Now what happens with engorgement is that the nipples slightly flatten. When the nipples flatten, it becomes difficult for the baby to suck. And also since the breast is painful, the mother also finds it difficult to feed the child, which leads to inadequate emptying of the feeds, decreased production, and it can also cause infection because of the accumulation of breast milk. If you have engorged nipples, you do not need to stop breastfeeding your baby. You need to continue breastfeeding your baby following some additional steps, which I'll just state for you. Firstly, apply moist heat to the breast, whichever breast is affected, if both are affected on both the sides, at least three to five minutes before feeding the baby. Now to apply moist heat, just take a clean cotton cloth, dip it in a bowl of warm water, let it reach to a suitable temperature and then apply the cloth to whichever breast is affected and keep it there for a good 5-6 minutes and after you are done applying moist heat, gently stroke the breast towards the nipple. It will help relieve the engorgement. Secondly, feed the baby very frequently at least every 2 hours for a good 15-20 to 20 minutes. If the baby is not hungry and is not taking feeds for 15-20 to 20 minutes, you can express out the additional milk so that further engorgement doesn't occur. And if there is excess pain, you can take over-the-counter paracetamol to relieve the pain. The second problem that mothers can have, that new mothers can have, is sore nipple or cracked nipples. If the baby is not properly latched onto the mother's breast, the mother can have sore nipples. And if the improper technique or improper positioning of the baby continues, it, due to the physical trauma, it might also lead to cracked nipples. I've made a video on correct latching techniques and a good latch, a bad latch, how should you position the baby, which I'll link here. Then the second cause for sore nipple or cracked nipples is oral thrush. I've also made a video on oral thrush, which I'll link here for you. If there is pain in the nipple area while breastfeeding, the mother should wait till the child releases the breast or gently put her finger in the baby's mouth so that the baby releases a suction. And once this is done, the mother can be guided further on proper latching and the proper technique. Breastfeeding does not have to be painful. It should not be painful. Again, breastfeeding should be continued on the affected breast. Breastfeeding should not be stopped. Applying medicated creams on the affected area should be at best avoided because they can sometimes further aggravate the problem. Now, if the problem is due to oral thrush, I've made a detailed video on it. You can watch it here. For cracked nipples, first of all, the mother should feed in the right position. Secondly, washing the nipple with plain water once a day. Thirdly, the nipples should be air dried or sun dried at least two to three times in a day. Mother can also apply hind milk, which is the milk which comes towards the end of the breastfeeding session on her on the affected area. And if the condition is extremely painful, the mother can express the breast milk out and then feed the baby. The third problem that we're going to talk about is mastitis and breast abscess. So if the engorgement in the mother's breast it persists, it might get infected. And once it is infected, the breast become very red, swollen, extremely tender. And mastitis should be treated as soon as it is diagnosed. Because if it's not treated at the right time, the recovery is not satisfactory. And the mastitis might go on to become a breast abscess where the mother's breast might discharge some pus. Mastitis is a painful condition to treat. The mother needs effective pain management and effective medications to treat mastitis, but she also needs a lot of emotional support. 
Antibiotics and pain relief medications might help the mother temporarily. The most essential part of the treatment is effective milk removal. The mother's breast should be emptied at regular intervals and she should also try breastfeeding the infant if possible. If the breastfeeding is very painful, the mother can express out the milk and then feed the infant. Now decrease the pain over the counter analgesics like brufen and paracetamol can be given to the mother. Rest is also an essential part in recovery. If the mother has mastitis or abscess, she needs to rest in bed. Also application of warm packs on the breast will also help relieve the pain and it will also get the milk flowing. The mother also needs adequate and in fact extra fluids and if mastitis goes on to develop breast abscess, incision and drainage of the affected area will be done. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions for us, please feel free to ask. Happy parenting. Bye-bye.